I always feel awkward when greeting your family and having to 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 do this. Yes, yeah, so and nobody actually does that anymore. You're, I just have you do it. Do you do it? I like have to. I like. Yeah, I'll just, what they call yeah, it. yeah. I'll just be like hi. <laughs> First time Hans ever met my dad was at my college graduation. When I met um, Sophia's mother, uh, that was very interesting too because I haven't gotten the whole like Colombian, uh, I guess, greeting down where you <laughs> maybe peck the cheek <laughs> or something. Yeah, kiss the it's cheek. So awkward. The first sentence he like took the initiative to say to you, and what was that? So Hans, are you going to be going to grad school? I'll say the thing that was really interesting was talking to your mom about what it was like growing up in like the 50s and 60s yeah. and traveling in the South and I, I obviously knew, I knew that racism, you know, segregation existed not that long ago but not until I spoke to someone who is now family, hearing it like tore my heart into two. If you find somebody attractive physically or however, uh, you also have to find them attractive in a cultural sense. You have to understand that they will be different uh, in many different ways that you, you may know at the beginning or you may not know and you have to sort of, you have to be accepting of those differences. In the Latin culture in general, families are very tight. We really give a big hug or a kiss in, in the, big kiss in each cheek and somehow that confuse Heard. Pablo comes from a more sort of conservative buttoned up. Yeah. Well, yeah, Catholic, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, Catholic. Which I was not expecting. Yeah. My parents immigrated in 1988, so like two years before I was born. Like you struggle so long to become successful in, the, in a foreign country. That's a big driver towards um, being successful economically. It's forced me to reconsider, like, you know. I guess my norms about like what it is to be a good parent and like how parents interact with their kids. Speaking of culture, <laughs> when I told my dad we were engaged, he was like, oh, in Zena's culture, you don't have to ask the father first. The funny thing is though, Zena's the one who proposed to me though. Yeah, so, so <laughs> it's, just, it's really great. I've learned more Spanish. Uh, I've learned more Spanish culture. I've done a lot of very white things that I've never done before. Such like, as? Such as going to a Christmas tree farm and cutting down a Christmas tree. Honduran food. I would never have gone to Guyanese Fest in Brooklyn <laughs> if it wasn't for Zena. And that was really... Guyanese person. And become, <laughs> quote unquote, an honorary Guyanese person according to her <laughs> grandfather. I feel like it's a constant learning experience. Um, and it definitely brings us challenges, but I think that's the fun part, you know? Being able to recognize your differences and you know, keep growing from that. My name is Pablo. My name is Ning. And we are Global Citizens. I'm Julia. I'm Will. And we are Global Citizens.